Hello friends, Google Classroom is a main tool between students and teachers now. Today we are going to learn how to set the Google Classroom to enter students mark. This method actually many teachers asking me through the SMS and directly calling and they are asking how can we set the mark. There are two options are there now how can we use that option sir, to enter their mark and the students mark so today that's why i decided today today to discuss about that category system in google classroom okay and before going to the video those who are watching first time my channel uh, please subscribe and if you like uh, this video please share with others and like uh, press the like button also and we can go to the video after making a classroom teachers are giving assignments and other things to the students and after that they are evaluating and they are giving the mark and at last they will get uh, the mark in the grade tab that is the method right and uh, how can we how many methods there are there to calculating the mark in google, google classroom okay that um, we are going to discuss today normally teachers are giving the work by clicking create assignment and we are giving uh, a class test suppose we are giving class test we are selecting the mark point if it is a 20 mark we are giving 20 mark then due date topics everything we are selecting and giving assign we are assigning okay class test And one more grammar test we are giving to the class again we are selecting the mark 10 mark and topics everything we are selecting and assigning okay I have given two test paper and after the test paper we are giving the mark also and out of this 10 mark one child got 10 mark and another child got a 8 mark or 5 mark okay and we are returning that mark to the students return and entering the other test paper also it is out of 20 class tests and uh, one child got 18 and another child got a 15 okay and returning the mark this is the normal method what we are doing teachers it is very good no problem but there are two more methods are there to calculate i will show you that grade book this is the grade book when you open that you can see that mark which we return to the students see grammar test out of 10 class average 7.5 10 mark out of 10 and class test uh, the same boy got or girl got a uh, student got 18 and 15 and 5 only this much you can see whatever how much mark they got only that thing you can see in this usually but two more methods are there that I will show you Uh, we have to set the category wise uh, in the settings button for that after opening the classroom you can see one settings button here when you click there below you can see grading heading in the grading area overall grade calculation no overall grade now we selected that one and students cannot see their mark properly their class um, grade they cannot see if you select this one but if you select the next if you select here you can see two more options total points style total points method and weighted by category method two methods are there in some schools weighted by category methods are very strict okay and the total points also usually total points we can use weighted by category also it is best tool okay that I will explain later now I am selecting total points total points when you select that I, this button is activated you can on this uh, show overall grade to students now students can see overall grade 
okay students in overall grade they can see their own grades they can see in their page not others grade only that students okay each students they can see their own mark only just below add category button is there we can add category what is this category for example if it is an english class usually we are taking um different type of test paper okay which all class test essay writing letter writing grammar test vocabulary test reading test assignments group work these are the main work will be sometimes okay i think uh, these are the category in a classroom that category we can add in advance in this area i will tell what is the use okay i am adding class test and the class test mark also usually i am taking always a class test i think it better to take the class test always in specific mark okay i am taking class all the class test out of 10 mark all the class tests because google is giving all the marks by adding all the mark and giving the average no problem so i am taking all the test paper out of 10 so if you want to give a different different mark you can give a, now i am giving class test 20 mark and adding next category grammar test next category i am giving for grammar test also 20 and adding category that we can give uh, all the category and its points also this is the total point mark, total point system and after that we say which now we are going to give one assignments clicking cl class work create and this time i am going to give a letter writing okay letter writing test paper and here you can see now two headings you can see here because before you before you saw only the points here no this category uh, category uh, heading was not there now it was there because we have a because we have a selected total points category and categories also we have added that's why it is showing like this a grade category we didn't select anyone that's why no, no category when you click there all the category we can see which you have given here all the category we can see here you select this is a letter writing test select that category automatically the mark has come here see letter writing 10 mark we have given here letter writing 10 mark so so uh, the 10 mark uh, already came there and if it is a group work if you select a group work uh, we have given 25 mark because for group work we have given 25 here automatically mark came here so that is the benefit of that whichever you are selecting that mark automatically points no need to enter that points and uh, now we are assigning now i am going to give uh, the mark for letter writing this boy got a 8 mark and this boy got a 9 mark now returning the mark and return now we can check the report card see here actually here total points grade it is it is a 8 mark out of 10 9 mark out of 10 5 mark out of 10 10 mark out of 10 like that google will add this mark google will add all these marks and they will take the average you know what is how to take average they will uh, by dividing by total number of the test paper and that is the method to take the average google will take that out of these three marks that boy got a 90 percentage mark 90 percentage mark by clicking here we will reach in the report card of that each student 
see this is a one by this is the report card of one boy and we can go back and if you select this boy and you can see the report card of that boy also and we can send this one by clicking here to the parents email also we can send by clicking here okay each report card we can send to students out of which all test paper and which all um, how, how many marks they got uh, and total percentage of that boy everything we will get uh, in that report card this is the total points method And I will show you the other method also. What is second method? You click on that settings wheel, go to the grading section. There you select a weighted by category. What is this? Weighted by category means when you select this one, all these category changed to percentage, right? So total, how many type of uh, how many type of paper, test paper or different type, type of assignments and uh, group work uh, and grammar test letter writing uh, whatever and how much mark you want to take from each category that weightage we can give for example if you think class test is very important so i'm giving weightage to the class test 25 percentage okay 25 percentage weightage i'm giving to the class test or 50 percentage i'm giving to the class test okay and what will happen if we give like that for example in one month if there are two class tests each class test out of 10 and 10 and one boy got a full mark 10 out of 10 other test also 10 out of 10 so both this paper he got a full mark out of this full mark that means out of 20 he got a 20 mark so we have given here 50 percentage of a weightage what will happen to that boy he will get a total out of 100 out of 100 he will get a half 50 percentage of the mark which he got 50 percentage of 20 mark what is 50 percentage 10 so 10 percentage mark from the class test he will get like that we can give the category weightage to the different category according to its uh, importance okay class test i am giving 25 percentage here only to show you and here grammar test i am giving 10 percentage letter writing also i am giving 10 percentage assignments are 20 percentage and the group work is a 30 percentage like that i have given see one more thing when you add the category the percentage total 100 percentage only you can add here now remaining five percentage we can add a five more percentage any category or you can uh, give a 10 10 10 10 10 category you can add a total hundred percentage only you can add you have to divide this hundred uh, percentage into different different category according to its importance in some schools they are uh, they are following this method because they want to give they want to get they want to give the more mark from specific categories okay percentage from that category so we can decide if you select this system okay now see now it is zero percentage remaining so save button activated so i am clicking now it is saving now I will show you once more, uh, one more assignment, uh, create uh, assignment. Uh, now I am giving by one assignment. Uh, see, select the category, 
assignments mark is not changing we have given in the total point system when you select the category the automatic mark total points will come but here in this category weightage category uh, you can give your own mark okay if uh, if, if it is a 20 mark no problem google will take only how much mark from this mark which you which that boy got for example for the assignment i am giving 20 mark and how many percentage google will take as for the assignment 20 percentage whatever mark he is getting or she is getting only 20 percentage mark google will take from this mark from which mark how many marks how much mark this student get, uh, is getting from that mark only 20 percentage mark google will take okay and you can give 20 to 30 or 40 whatever it is no problem but google take google, google will take only 20 percentage i am assigning here now i have assigned now how many categories are there class test category is there i didn't select the test i didn't select the category because i we have sent before no so no category this is class test category how many marks uh, the google will take for class tester it is 25 percentage don't forget to change if you change your category means your system marking system because these first these three um, assignments we have sent uh, without selecting the category uh, according to the weightage wise okay so i am selecting this one once more editing and uh, changing that category this is a grammar tester selecting grammar tester how many marks uh, google will take how many percentage uh, i will show you for the grammar 15 percentage only google will take for grammar grammar test paper okay i'm saving and one more test paper we had sent uh, that is letter writing i'm taking this one editing then selecting Letter writing already be uh, selected. Okay, so it is a uh, how many term, uh, how many percentage Google will take for letter writing? It is a uh, ten percentage. So now all the categories, uh, all the assignments will be selected, and uh, that's why I'm telling when you start year, when you uh, at the beginning of the year you select uh, which system you need, uh, percentage total points need, uh, or uh, weightage uh, system. Whichever you need, uh, you select uh, in the beginning of the year, then you start your work. Now we can uh, see the report card uh, here. Now this mark is and uh, for the assignment we haven't given the mark. Okay, so I'm gi giving the mark out of uh, 20, he got a 16, out of 20, he got a 15. Okay, now mark entered and returning the mark of now it will reflect in the report card i will show you see now it is a uh, showing there now how this mark came how the google calculated uh, this mark uh, the first boy got uh, 87 point 86 second boy got uh, 71.79 how they uh, the google added this mark uh, for assignments uh, this boy got uh, out of 2016 for assignment uh, how many percentage assignment uh, 20 percentage google took a uh, 20 percentage mark of 16 and uh, here out of 10 this boy got a 10 for letter writing and letter writing only 10 percentage so out of this 8 mark out of 10 the google only 10 percentage for grammar test uh, how much percentage 15 percentage google took a uh, 15 percentage of this 10 mark okay like that class test also so taking all the percentage from all this mark google is adding out of 100 percentage he got 87.86 like this he got 87.86 and this boy got 71.79 this is the category this is the weightage category system okay
which is you can use both method total point system and weightage category system both you can use in classes but the problem is uh, you cannot use uh, both in one classroom so you decide which category which uh, system is useful to you for total point system and generally teachers are using total point system but some schools are very strict uh, uh, with the weighted system so uh, if you you decide uh, you decide which cabbage system you need uh, and select uh, from the beginning okay it is this uh, category system in google classroom this is the mar marking system which google is giving to the teachers and this is uh, uh, very easy and you try to use in your class and uh, if you have any doubt feel free to contact me i hope you understood uh, this system in google classroom we will meet again with a new topic till then goodbye